Alright, hello everybody. My name's Goose. We're going to be playing some Skullgirls. Now, I've uh, recorded this once with uh, open software browser or open streaming device, OSB, some, some shit like that. Open streaming broadcasting. I think that's what it's called. I, I don't remember. Um, didn't work. I, I wanted to experiment with it. It, it, it just. The thing about Fraps is that it makes everything very laggy, and you know, with a fighting game like this, it's, it's pretty bad. So I tried a new software, uh, the open broadcasting software, it just didn't work, whatever the fuck it's called. Uh, it, it worked, it, it didn't make my game laggy, however, the video itself was very laggy. Um, so that's inexcusable, That, that that's just, I, I can't work with that, you know? Like, I don't care if you make my game laggy, as long as you don't make the footage laggy then I'm totally fine with that, so yeah. I'm back with Fraps, and I tried with Fraps, unfortunately my audacity shut down on me and I just couldn't receive, re retrieve the uh, the uh, audio files before, so yeah, I got some good games in, but I can't show you them because I'm an asshole, or rather the software is an asshole, and I just can't do it. So we're just gonna go ahead and do this. Now I did do some training, and like I said, I did have uh, put in some matches. Uh, let's go with this guy. Yeah, sure. Uh, I, I did put some matches in, but it, 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 I'm not honestly that good at this game. Uh, I'm just sort of, you know, going off what I know by video game standards. Like, that's, that's why I know things. But other than that, I'm not that good with this game. So, you're gonna see me suck very hard at this game. Hence the title, I Suck at Skullgirls. So... This guy doesn't want to play with us, so fuck you. Uh, create our own lobby. I mean, that's what happened the last time I played this. I want to improve. Oh, it, it already got the settings up. Cool. I'm going to be ready, and we're just going to wait for people. It's it's much better. Like, I'm not getting ranks in, which is you know, a shame. But it, it's better than looking for a ranked match. Because I was looking for a ranked match for practically half an hour. I only got, like, one game in. And that's bad. So, obviously, there are more people playing in lobbies than there are people playing out there in the ranks. And my theory is null and void because there's nobody playing now. In the lobbies. Really, really wish I saved that fucking file that I have, but no. I don't. It's not, that's not the way the world works. How about, ooh, how about this guy? Unnamed lobby. These guys are already fighting. All right, they're revved up, ready to go. That's a Gyarados on that fucker's picture. His name is Pescado. And Ratman. Pescado means fucking fish in Spanish. Who am I gonna fight? Oh, it's Center Class. I guess I'm gonna fight him. Ooh. Uh, yeah. All right, I'm ready. So I've been maining Valentine and. Meaning Valentine and Cerebella. Because I just I really like these games. I, I, I just really like the fact that Valentine is a very fast character mixed in with Cerebella, who's like a heavy character. That's just a dream come true. Heavy with, with uh, light. It's awesome. It's awesome. Oh man, and I had some really sick gameplay going on too last round. I did some awesome, sick cross ups. It was really cool. God damn it, I really, really wish I had that footage. Can't show you it because it doesn't just not, doesn't work anymore. Alright, let's go. Let's go. She has really good reach, so that That is really good. Press the button there. Okay. Does she have armor? I think she does. Oh boy! Ah, uh, I should have switched, right? Should have switched. I really like this color, actually. Yeah, 
Ah, I gotcha. Oh, that's really good. That's really good. I'm gonna remember that. I can know how to do that. Ah, uh, oh, oh, oh. So, I still wish I had Valentine. Oh my god, what the fuck is that thing? Okay, it hurt her? Okay! Fuck! Nah! She's gonna get in. Alright, that was good. I couldn't get in the last minute, so... That was on my... That was on my end. Alright, let's go ahead and do it with Princess Thunderballs. Okay. Oh god, look at that ping. All the way from the west coast. I'm from the east coast. That's the beast coast. So, so, so fight between west and west. I'm gonna win. Go ahead with Valentine, Dead Cross, Cerebellum. Ah, uh, yeah. No, no, no. Actually, no. I want to do lock and load. There you go. Oh no! Ah, uh, you know what? No, it's not lock and load. It was Titanfall. Titan Fist, whatever the fuck it's called. <laughs> ah, fuck. Cerebell is actually really fucking strong. Uh, that's what I've learned at least when I was playing with her. Alright, let's see if I can do that cross up I was talking about last time. It was really fucking good. I don't think I can do it against Cerebella though. She's actually really strong and offensive. She slapped my shit. She slapped my tits. chick in the background. I want to play as her. They got all these awesome designs in the background and shit, and you can't even play as a single one of them. I'm just teasing you, really. I like how the... Uh, oh, wait a I fucking love Cerebella so fucking much. Okay. Okay. 
All right, cool. Ah, okay. Oh, oh, oh. That should not have hit, actually. I feel like that was her just pressing buttons. Yeah. I don't know. That was a pretty lackluster win. I should not. That that should not have connected. I don't know. <laughs> like it, it was a win, sure, but I just I it felt like that was a little dirty. Like I should have done something else. Uh oh, big band. Character DLC. Ah, actually, I need to discuss that. Uh, I, I said some, or no, maybe I did say something on, on the other recording. I don't know if I'll show that. But essentially, what I said was this game. It's actually really, really good. The art style is amazing. The game got a ton of, of, of like praise from everywhere. But the problem was that it's just a small niche community that was playing it. And that's why it, you don't see this game at EVO. Or, well, you do see this game at EVO, never mind. But it, not that many people actually play it on the show floor. Um, this game is... It's actually really fun. The game works well. It, it, it's, it's a great fighting game that actually does teach you about fighting games. Because it, it has a tutorial that, that does just about that. It, it teaches you what fighting game mechanics, not just this mechanics, but every other mechanic in fighting games do. Uh, it's only, it's better by, it's done well, uh, and, and the only person that can actually beat it is uh, Killer Instinct. And to say that an official game is the only game, an official fighting game at least, made by like a big company, is the only fighting game that can actually teach people about fighting games, um, while an indie game did it way better than other games, is actually saying something, because indie games... I feel like I'm talking nonsense. There you go. Alright, so, uh, yeah, no, this is a great fighting game, especially when, it, when you consider that this was made by indie developers. It's pretty amazing. Um, this is why I really believe we should support a lot of more indie games. Uh, there you go. I'm sorry, it's really hard to talk and, and play fighting games. There you go, gotcha. Ah, oh, no. Now I gotcha. There you go. Gotcha. Oh, that was good reach. Um, this game is really good. But I think the reason why it has such a small community, um, it's actually because it has it, it, the game itself is very very small. The characters there's only about like eight characters on launch date. There were only eight characters. DLC included that is one and another. Oh, she left. <laughs> oh well. Um, no. With a, with with other with the DLC characters making Squiggly and Big Band as you saw there, that is uh, that that's ten characters. I'm sorry, I'm trying to recover from that last hype match of amazingness. Um, so yeah, that's all I really wanted to say. I, I said that on the last recording, but you know you don't have the last recording. This game is amazing. It, it's it's. I think it's probably the most stylish fighting game to come out this generation, or rather last generation. Uh, it, it looks good, it feels good, it, it reminds me a lot more of Third Strike than it does Marvel vs. Capcom 2, which is what this game is trying to emulate, but it feels a lot more like Third Strike, honestly. And I know that's, a, that's very insulting to most of you, but it just feels nice. The, the reason I like Third Strike so fucking much, even though I suck balls at it, it feels good because every character feels like they have weight. Like, you know, they don't have, like, super jumps. Or they do have super jumps. But they don't have... They don't, they don't feel floaty is what I mean. When they're in the air, they're in the air for, like, half a millisecond. Or some shit like that. They feel strong. And when you hit someone, you feel that impact. And that sound effect. And the, 
the the effects it makes. Oh my god, this motherfucker's look at his ping. Uh. Burp there. Look at his ping. That's amazing. Um, yeah, but no, it, it, I feel every character has weight, and that's why I love Sarah Bella so fucking much because she reminds me of that shit. She reminds me of a third strike character who feels heavy, and when they punch, everything is heavy. Ah, I love it. I almost chose one there for a second. Thank you. Oh, three characters, okay. Titan Knuckle or Lock and Load? Titan Knuckle works better. It has longer reach and uh Titan Knuckle's good, but it has uh it's the startup is way too much. I feel Valentine does work well with Cerebella, in my opinion, but uh Cerebella does not work well with Valentine. That, if you know what I mean. Oh fuck me! Okay. Okay. Oh, I know this setup actually. I've seen it used in tournaments. It's actually really bad. He knows how to play. All I know is that Parasol is actually pretty fucking overpowered. Shit. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. I don't know how to fucking play these guys. Ah! This guy's so good. I can't do shit. I gotta stop pressing buttons. No, I, I don't know. No, he's, he's got me. Oh my fucking god, he's got me. He got me in a bind. Ah, that was terrible. Now fuck you, I'm out. <laughs> fuck that. Saw that shit? That was amazing. It's pretty good. Good game. Oh, well, on his part at least. My part was shit. What about you, dude? Fagola bar. Failed to... Okay. Let's create the lobby, I guess. Let's get uh, two more matches in and I'll call it a day. Hopefully somebody comes. Um, Another thing I want to say about this game. Uh, the I saw the patch notes when I first got this game. Uh, I saw the patch notes and I was like... Hmm, what, what changed? And I saw that they actually update, like, every other week, and that's really, really good. That's more than what can be said about most fighting games, if not all fighting games. Fucking... The only... Fucking Street Fighter makes a big deal out of one patch. The 2012 Arcade Edition patch was like, people went bananas for that fucking patch. But that was like one of their few patches that came out. This guy's from Brazil! No, I don't want to leave. No! Oh, did I kick him out? Oh, I guess he left. Um, no. Fucking Arcade Edition was like one of the few patches that was like a major package. It's not like it came out with new characters or anything like that. It was just the fact that it was another patch. Like something to debuff and buff people. So they don't really do it that often. I mean, granted... Uh, uh, Street Fighter 4 is very, very balanced. It, it's got a lot of characters in there. It's got, like, I think over 35, and with the new with the new release, I think that makes it 40 characters. They're all surprisingly very well balanced. Uh, you could say this character is the worst, or this other character is the worst. You could say El Forte is, like, the w bottom tier at best. Um... But the fact is, there's a bunch of El Forte who's, like, who's been there. And I've played this guy before. He actually was really laggy. Oh, there it is. Um, but yeah, you could say El Forte sucks, but he was actually pretty good in the tournament scene. Like, I've seen a couple who, who actually mained him. And he, they were fucking amazing with him. And I've seen some DJs, too. One of the characters that's considered, like, the fucking worst. I've seen people... Um, play him. He, he, he was great. He didn't make it to the top, like, you know, top five or top ten for the, that reason. But, it, you know, he made it there. Oh, he was only going with one character. Okay. I was doing so well in the last match, man. I mean, I was doing so well in the last recording, but... Oh, well. Oh, that's a nice color for her. I like that a lot. i am play her now. I feel like playing her just because of that fucking color. Ow, ow, ow. 
That actually hurt a fuck a lot. God, this guy's pressuring me fucking hard. You saw that setup though? You saw that shit? That's why I love Cerebella. Fuck you, <laughs> Fucking headbutt of that shit. Gotta get away from that hat. I mean, that head. Fuck me. Get away, head! Ah, oh, fuck. God, that, that, that character actually looks very interesting. I can see why he mains it. Like, like, alone, I mean. Shit! Ah, okay. I don't know what I can do now. Shit, I only got the head. Oh, fuck me, dude. Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, that's good. Alright, that was fine. Misfortune, huh? I might? She's got me very interested in her. Very interesting. Very interesting. You'll be spectating the next match. That's fine with me. I don't want to play with fucking Einhinder over there. What's this? Come on, I'm ready. Come on. Festering wound, come on. Come on, I'm ready. You're ready, I'm ready. Let's do this. Fucking you and me. Make two. So it's like, you know, that's two fists. And your fists. It's four fists. It's like, let's fight. Let's do it. Fist each other. Let's go. That's the thing I really love about the lobby system is that uh, multiple people in the lobby can actually fight each other. But that's a negative for me, sort of, because they actually... Uh, you play the same person over and over again in the lobby, and that's just not cool. Man. I don't, I don't like that. It's like, yeah, it's cool that everybody in the lobby doesn't have to fucking wait and spectate, and they could just, you know, play uh, another character or uh, another player, perhaps. Uh, but you know, but you still, every time you do that, you have to play the same player over and over again, which is, you know, I don't really want to play the same player over and over again. That's sort of the reason of the lobby system. I go up, I go up against the next guy who's like succeeding, and I want to beat this guy's asshole in. And that was some major ass lag. That's why I don't want to play against Earnhardt. This guy's doing good. Um, so yeah, I might as well talk a bit more of things that I left out. Uh, I, I I said it all in my last video, and I can't can't get over the fact that I lost all that footage. Just kicking the fucking head? It does chip damage, which is funny. <laughs> it does raw chip damage. That's pretty funny. Whoa! Ah, oh, you missed, dude. No! Uh, Misfortune actually seems very, very interesting. Huh. Like, I knew all about her head stuff and her limbs coming apart and whatnot. But her actual- I just- I- you know what? I'm being biased. The only reason I actually like her is because of her fucking color scheme. Look at that! Green and black, my favorite fucking color. That's a really good color scheme. I, I might want to try her next time. But right now, we're gonna uh, finish this game off. One more game. Uh, who am I against? What we're about to see. Blue Demonic, motherfucker, look at your thing. I'm gonna go with four. Um... Yeah, we're gonna finish this off with Valentine and Cerebella one more time. Next time, maybe we'll try out uh, Misfortune. For now, Valentine. This guy is actually really good with uh, Cerebella, so I gotta be careful about this. You gotta be really careful about this. This guy's pretty good. And also kinda laggy. Let's go, bitch! It's. Showtime! Ow! Yeah. Oh, damn, I thought it connected. Yes! Awesome. 